Hey, not a vintage edition of the Queensland Derby, but it's good enough for us to cover it. It is. It is. Uh, look, I'm with the top two in the market, but I'm leaning towards Autumn Angel, but she's a little bit short for mine, so I might, it might just be a watch race for me, but... She just looks like an out-and-out style. She looks to be one who can go on and be a Cups-type horse as she gets a bit older, Autumn Angel. I think I disrespected her a little bit in the Australian Oaks because uh, I was too focused on orchestral and Zardozzi and just gave her a bit of a wide berth, which was silly, silly, silly boy. Um, very surprised that Peter Moody and Kat Coleman decided to run her up here in Queensland, but she must be doing super well, otherwise they wouldn't be. So she's on top for me, sticky gate, but I trust Mark Zara to get her into the right spot and then... Yeah, number one, Tannhauser. Post-gelding, different horse, clearly. Uh, got his second career win um, straight after being gelded. So he'll run a big race, I think, uh, Tannhauser. Um, oh, it'd just be... How ironic would it be for him to win this race after I was on him in a big way in the JJ Atkins last year and I'm not on him in a group one in Queensland 12 months later. But, um, yeah, second selection for me. Son of Deck, third, because obviously... <laughs> Such a well-named horse. <laughs> and then number nine, Bullets High. Progeny of Ace High, Joe Pride trained horse. He looks to be a horse who mm. will get out, uh, will be better as he gets out over further. So have him running into fourth for mine for a bit of bit of juice. Best of luck. Um, mate of mine lives in uh, Victoria and he texts me after this thing one. He's like, hey, did you see Navy King win? And I said, <laughs> did I see it win? I saw a brain him. Uh, absolutely brained him by one and a half lengths into second, but eight lengths or seven lengths into third. So that was his second consecutive run at 2,000 metres, and he was through the line even putting even more lengths on him. So 2,400 metres, trust in the eye for this guy, um, that Navy King can get the job done at $21, no less. I think he doesn't start that price on the day. Um have to respect the next two in the market. Autumn Angel and Tan Houser in for second and third. They picked themselves. But Warmonger was unlucky not to win the South Australian Derby. And Barry 23 sucks, but Black Shin's on. Offsets it a little bit. 